Hello everybody. Well, this time around, I want to talk about buying used 3D printers. I've done it. I have several here. I've had some good adventures and I've had some that were not so good. So I wanted to go through the pros and cons. Is a used 3D printer something that you should consider or should you just stay away and stick with brand new? Let's talk about that. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. Well, first of all, my name is Paul and this is my channel where nerdy is cool. I'm huge into 3D printing. I have 23 3D printers. I print all kinds of cool stuff. I've also got all kinds of side projects. I've built a full size R2. You can see BB-8 is in some sort of lingering state. And I've also got a C-3PO underway. So I'm kind of special and I love 3D printing and I just very much want to make sure that my friends get the best advice possible on this topic. So. I have bought all kinds of used 3D printers. I've had some really great experiences and I've had a couple of not so good ones. So I wanted to share some tips and suggestions, maybe rantings, <laughs> uh, as far as what to look for when shopping for 3D printers. Now, this is really gonna boil down to two parties that I can think of, okay? So one is gonna be a situation where you have a newer person that wants to get into 3D printing, but they don't have a lot of money. I see this all the time. I have $200, what should I get? I have $400, what should I get? And that sort of thing. Now, I'm gonna spare you my personal opinion on what I think the appropriate first printer would be, but um, in a situation where you're looking to buy something used online, of course, Facebook Marketplace and eBay are the two big ones that I can think of. And let's talk about Facebook Marketplace first. I got that opened up on my monitor right over here. And this is my local area. I happen to live up here in the boonies of Maine, so my offerings are a little bit slimmer than others. So if you live in a bigger city, I'm sure that you're gonna have way more to choose from than what you're seeing in here. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised here because usually when I type 3D printer in Facebook Marketplace, I get all kinds of HPs. But uh, due to filming, apparently things are gonna behave. So as you can see, all kinds of listing, JG Aurora, Ender 3s, uh, there's even, I don't even know what that printer is there's some still in a box there's a x1c bamboo last for 1300 bucks which you know you can buy one probably brand new in the box you know for about that much and we'll talk about that as well but this is my local area there's a couple of resin printers as well too and you know there's an ultimaker of 500 bucks oh we might have to talk but anyway so th this is one of the you know the biggies that i browse through the most now my suggestions and then the other party, I'm sorry, before I, I go onto a tangent here, which I'm notorious for, um, the other party I think would be folks that already have a 3D printer or you're a tinkerer and you don't mind working on them. You're looking for a project and hey, use 3D printers could be a steal. And I fall into that group right there because I have picked up a couple of machines and I am comfortable upgrading these things and I don't mind pulling the stock stuff off and putting better stuff on and making it working better than before. So a couple, basic things. So obviously if you're going to buy anything online, be smart. You know, you don't go to someone's house, <laughs> you know, try to meet someplace in public. Obviously with a 3d printer, you're probably going to be stuck in a parking lot in the back of the car going, yo, that's a 3d printer. But you know, if you have like a maker space or other places there where you can actually, you know, have the printer set up, maybe they can do a test print for you, or maybe they bring some test prints or they have some on the website. I don't, I don't know. So make sure that you're, shopping and when you go to meet in person that you're doing it smart we, we there's all kinds of horror stories about people buying online and getting robbed or places you know just eh, let's stop there let's think positive and, and stay positive so just make sure you're safe when it comes time to meet the person and see this 3d printer next up would be a couple of basic questions i would ask and you know a couple things that come to mind are why are you selling it there may be a situation where it, I see this a lot is people get into 3D printing thinking this is going to be great. I'm going to print this trinket, that trinket, this trinket. And they just decide that, you know, this isn't for me. I, I was under the impression you load filament, you press start and it just magically happens. No way. I'm out. So you maybe you'll find some people like that that are just looking to get it out of their house. And sometimes you can get that for a really good deal. Uh, the other one, <laughs> this is funny because this really happened, is uh, this is a situation where a gentleman buys 3D printer, can't wait to make all kinds of things, 
And then the wife notices that there's a 3D printer in the house and she was not consulted and insists that it goes. And that's how I got one of my machines rather cheaply. Um, another situation that you may run into is, you know, not most people are crazy like me and have a basement full of machines, but uh, they may decide that, okay, I just got this new machine, whatever, this new model and the old one, I don't need it anymore. I don't have room, it needs to go. So there's a couple of opportunities there where you can find people that are selling for those various reasons. Now, as I mentioned, if you're a tinkerer, this next part, if you're looking at the machine and there's wires and custom hot ends and custom fans and all kinds of you know, modifications made to the machine, that might be more interesting to the advanced users, tinkerers and folks like that. To the folks that are like, I don't have a lot of money and I'm still trying to find something, my advice would be try to find something that is stock. And the second part of this advice would be, let's pick on the enders because there's a new ender that comes out every two weeks it feels like. So if you look on these listings, you're gonna see all kinds of enders, V1, V2, V3, V whatever. Make sure you look on Creality's website and find out what do they sell for brand new? Because you know you may find a few machines on here that the owner is trying to get back what they paid in, but these machines, kind of like computers, depreciate very badly, very quickly because they're replaced so often with newer models. So make sure you're a smart consumer and you can you know, understand that if this person is asking you know, $200 you know, for a machine you can get for $150, that might be one to walk away from. The other thing I'd be very careful about is bundles. You know, there are a lot of people or a lot of ads I've seen where they're gonna point out that, well, I, I changed the Bowden tube or I put a, uh, a flex bed on here or I did this upgrade or that upgrade. You know, again, you know, understand what those upgrades cost. You know, Capricorn tubing is not terribly expensive and wham bam beds or other manufacturers of beds, you can go to their website and see what they charge for their systems. So just be smart, you know, just, just because you see that has all the bells and whistles on it, it may not be the best value. The other thing I would point out too is support because most of these machines um, well, most of the machines that come from China and, and places elsewhere, you know, basically the only support for them is via the Facebook groups, YouTube, and, and, and that bit too. But I'd like to point out that, for example, if you're trying to find, remember years ago when the Ultimakers all came out or the Lulzbots came out or stuff like that, and you couldn't afford them because they were three or four or five thousand dollars, and now, three, four years later, you're seeing them on eBay or on Facebook Marketplace, and suddenly they're very inexpensive. Now there may be some deals to be had there because those machines are built to a whole different sta standard than you know, some of these overseas machines, which are just slapped together as cheaply as possible, get it on the market and then replace it with another one six months later. So if you're looking to get some deals on, say I'm picking on Ultimaker and Lulzbot for example, because I know that they're still in business and if you buy one of those machines used, chances are the company can still support you with parts or software support. For example, you know, Cura uh, is a software slicer for the Ultimakers. And if you buy a used Ultimaker 2, the Ultimaker 2 has a native profile on there. Yay. Lulzbot. Lulzbot has their own version of Cura and has all their models supported in there. So what I'm trying to say, and I may be beleaguering it, is that um, if you are looking for machines that you couldn't afford back in the day and are out there used, uh, yeah, there are newer machines that are probably going to be a whole lot quieter than those little stepper drivers, but on the pro side, they're still being actively supported via software or some other things or a support community by that company. So something to think about. I just want to give a quick pause here real quick. I just want to say that down in the description below, I have a listing of my affiliates and thanks to those affiliates, you guys get some discounts or some coupon codes there. And as a result, I earn some commissions and those commissions help fund me and I can make cool stuff and do these videos. So I'd appreciate it very much if you check those out. You can save some money and you help my channel. I'm gonna stop there because I'm, I'm sure I could go on and on about this topic, but I think I got the, the highlights here I wanted to get out to you. Be a smart shopper, do your research. If you're a newbie and don't have a lot of money, you know, maybe sometimes new is better. And for those of us that are more advanced users and we don't mind going in here and, you know, pulling electronics out and doing firmware and things like that, there are certainly some good deals to be had. And again, as I mentioned earlier, just be safe.
Make sure you meet in public, ask some good questions, and you know, just make sure you don't get catfished. You know, you just want to make sure that the printer that you saw in the, in the pictures that looks brand new and working perfectly, make sure that's the real thing. And that's it. So that's it for this time. You can catch what I'm doing on social media. I got all kinds of cool things going on in the background here. So check me out on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. And if you're not crazy about the ads, I have my channel also on Odyssey. So check all that out. Let me know in the comment section down below, have you bought a used 3D printer? What was your experience? Did you get a great deal or is it currently sitting on the curb waiting for trash pickup? <laughs> so that's it for this time. Thanks for watching and remember, please print safe.